Usually this is what Martin try. We and I try to say something nice. This is what we try to be cool before we start going after each other. Martin is, to me, Martin is that guy. Man, you don't understand art. And Martin, like, you just a pretentious fuck. Period 2018, you know, this is a remake. And the original, I'm gonna say something about the original right here. The original is, is one of the first things that made me scream out loud. Is that right? It, seriously, the original is one of the first things that <laughs> terrified me so bad that I actually screamed out loud. And I hadn't even seen the movie yet. Oh, you just saw the trailer? <laughs> I just saw the trailer. At the, I saw the trailer in the trailer. Fuck my mind up. I, the thing is, I was six years old. Oh, okay. And I saw this, and I had never been as terrified in my life at that at that point until I saw this trailer. Roses are red, violets are blue, but the iris is the flower that will mean the end. <laughs> ah! I was like, <laughs> you should have heard me, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> My, my mama ran into the room and she had to run to my room and cut the TV off. <laughs> I was screaming so loud. If you don't know what this is, look up the old trailer for Suspiria. It starts out with this woman brushing her hair and thinking this nursery rhyme kind of thing and then turns around and is actually like, I'm going to get you. And I, I scream my ass off, man. I thought that bitch was going to jump out the TV uh -huh. and snatch me up. I, <laughs> movie trauma to the trailer. Just the, this trailer traumatized me so bad that I didn't watch this movie until I was 30. Damn. <laughs> I was like, no, hell well, no. Well, that's what happens. Yeah, that's a, ain't woman going to get me. <laughs> She's still waiting on my ass. <laughs> Had to watch it a couple of times. I actually bought the, the video because they say it's, you know, it's a hard classic. Yeah. And one that needs to be seen, especially if you're into the, the director, Dario Argento. He's a guy that's done a lot of hard, a lot of zombie stuff. Actually, in a movie called Zombie. Uh, this was something I really loved, man, because after a couple of viewings of it, finally realized that what made this movie so cool, what made it so uh, original from other horror movies, is that this was really a psychedelic horror film. Right. Yeah, That's it was, what I've read. Yeah. It's, it's, it, you know, it's, it's got some real scares going on, but on top of those real scares, on top of that fear, you also have this hallucinogenic hysteria that just, you know, it's already just adding to the tension more than you already feel. And so I, you know, I, I love this. It's just, it's a weird movie, but it's effective. So, you know, when early word of mouth came out talking about, oh man, this, this is, this is crazy. I don't know if y'all ready for that. I'm like, how dare you talk that shit to me? I've seen the original. I can handle crazy. Shit, I'm crazy. I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and plus the movie got a standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival. This new one or the old one? The, the, this new one did. Okay. Thank you. No, I, let me clarify that. This new one, 2018, got a standing ovation at the Venice Film Festival. But you know, them, those, those art snobs over there, you know, they, 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 don't, they, they, they don't know what crazy is. I often is. hear about things getting standing ovations. So it's like, they must put tax in everybody's seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just must, like, they, put, 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 put buzzers in their <laughs> shit. <laughs> Everybody clapping their ass. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, man. Uh, so, and I said, you know what? what? Am I truly prepared for how crazy this movie could? Can it possibly be more crazy than the other? And that's Dario Argento with a certain character from the original. As you can see. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's very creepy just from the stills. I just said, can he really top this, man? I, I've heard his name so much, I had no clue what he looked like. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Emo Phillips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the Pee Wee Herman of horror. <laughs> <laughs> and am I truly prepared for not only the, the crazy horror going on, but am I also prepared for all this goodness that got people standing up on their feet praising this film? Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer, and Martin and myself, will be, we'll, we, we will be back with our review. The one that's coming. Like, all right, I don't know 
what the hell is going on with this? What these people standing up for? That's how you know. That, that's how you know some art snobs because they can't understand what's going on. You know, when other people <laughs> understand what's going on, that just, don't nobody else want to sound dumb. <laughs> oh, it's, you just have to interpret it. <laughs> what's this, what? What's your meaning? <laughs> you know, no. You know what? It, it it does have somewhat of a story here. Let me just go ahead and say that. As crazy as this looks, as weird as this may seem, because I remember when people saw the trailer, people talking about I got I had a couple of emails like, you see this crazy shit right here? And it does have somewhat of a story. You have uh, 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 the Johnson girl. What's her name? Dakota, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. She goes to Berlin to join a dance troupe. However, with the dance troupe, when she immediately gets there, she starts hearing things. She starts seeing things behind, you know, behind walls and shelves and and all the people are, even though, I mean, it's, not, it's too good to be true because they don't charge any room. They don't charge any board. They just right, you know. right. They, yeah, you don't get paid. But she figured she would have to pay. And they're like, no, we don't charge you. Oh, you know, and you, you can stay for free in a, in a small spot. Exactly. You know what? Pay us with a dance. And she dances her ass up. She does. And, 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 the, and you have Tilda Swinton as the head of this. But Tilda Swinton. Uh, along with the rest of her of her staff, her board, it soon, it soon becomes very apparent that there's more than just dancing that's going on here. Some girls slowly start missing from the troop, and and I'm just giving you, I'm just I'm just giving you part of the story. There's a lot going on with this, but before I get into that, I'm gonna get Martin's opinion here in a little bit. I wanna just say some of the things I really enjoyed about this. I love that the movie. It's still set in 1977. I say still set because 1977 is when the original came out. And what I love about that is that it's trying to stay authentic to the to the to the tone of that film by filming it like it's from the 70s. Right. I mean, you can tell that it's not exactly the 70s. But they they try to do as much as they they can to make it feel like it's a 70s film. It, yeah, it, it definitely has that look in in uh, just in the film the film quality. Like and the course, film stock itself was, yeah, was yeah, used the, to look, give it an like, aged look. Right, right. The stock itself. Uh, and it's the 70s, so it's dealing with, with Berlin when, when Germany was divided. Mm -hmm. And there's a terrorist group going on, the, the, the Red Army. So there's, there's, there's all kinds of political shit happening in the background. Yeah, yeah. But you, you can see right here, like, the, it's not a very bright film intentionally. All the colors are muted here. That's what helps with that. And... You know, it's uh, it's even got things that happen like uh, that happen uh, 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 dramatically in an old '60s or '70s film. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, uh, uh, really dramatic shots when something happens, especially from cult movies or, or horror movies or, or thrillers from the '60s and '70s. Yeah. You know, when something happens, everybody got the <gasps> and the camera zooms uh -huh. in real quick. And and I love that, man. I I, I it. I love the setting of the movie. It's too. a really good aesthetic for this film. Yeah, yeah. They try to actually make this not only film feel like a a period movie, but also a cult movie from that period. And furthermore, they uh, the the setting I really like. I love period pieces mainly for the setting. And they, you know, there's a lot of old architecture in this in these cold streets of Berlin. You know, the I love the furniture. I love the cafes, man. You know all that European shit that's going on. Of course, you love you, that. of course, yeah, I yeah. love that. You know, I'm, but I, I liked it for this too. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it works for this. The art direction is excellent here. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, costume design is excellent. And in parts, it, it's so authentic feeling that it does feel like an actual movie plucked from the 60s or 70s. I mean, if you know these actors or if some of the, the, the effects in this did not look like it was from this period, you might mistake it for being from that point. Well, also the way they have the, the actors dressed up and maybe it's just the film stock itself. There's so, just something about it. It took me a long time to recognize who these actresses were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, I'm not gonna name them, but there's a lot of other actresses in this that are kind of character actors, but a lot of older people know them mm. from that period of the '70s. Sure. And you know, it's uh, and so you know, there's a lot going on from this from in this movie from a, uh, an aesthetic point of view or aesthetic position. Uh, and at the same time, they do remain true to the original with certain themes and plot points. Now, where it deviates away from the original is with the director. Now, you got this director here who's also another Italian, I believe, uh, Luca Guada, uh, uh, Guadagnino. 
if that ain't Italian, that, that, look, I, Italian. Yeah, that ain't just Italian. I, look, I, ain't, I don't mean to be stereotypical, but that's mob Italian. <laughs> Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Don Luca wants to direct your movie. And if you heard that name before, if you're into the independent cinema, even the art house cinema, you know this man. He did a movie that was praised, I believe, last year. Call Me By Your Name. He directed right. that. That's right. Which is another period piece where he tried to make this feel like a uh, like a, a, a new, uh, like sort of like a French New Wave film. Yeah. So this man, you know, he has a thing for period pieces because he does it well. But you know, one of and, and but when he comes on the scene, he wants you to know immediately that I'm an artist. I will bring some dignity to this schlock. <laughs> <laughs> and what he brought along with that was an extra hour of bullshit that I don't think we really needed. I mean, that I don't think I needed. Martin, he might feel differently about it. I, yeah, I think I do. Well, he, and he might feel differently, but you know, before I, and I don't, because usually, usually this is what Martin try. We, we and I try to say something nice. This is what we try to be cool before we start going after each other. Martin is to me. Martin is that guy. Man, you don't understand art. And Martin, like you, just a pretentious fuck. You know, both of us kind of go at each other with these art films because that's what this man. <laughs> we just we go at each other with these. You just don't get it. You just pretentious. You know, I, it, we we go at it. And I thought maybe, or, you know, still, maybe that that's, that might be the case. It looks like positions might be reversed because what this man has made, Martin, I'm, I'm sure we can agree with this, he has made an art film with yeah. this movie. Well, I've never seen the original. I always assumed it was an art horror film. Is it not? Is it just a, a horror film that's, that's just odd because it's psychedelic? I mean, it's art scene because it, it too has, uh, the original itself has also uh, some great art direction in it. You know, it's like they do a lot of great imagery in that movie, man. And okay. a lot of it is creepy. But everything is there. Every artistic measure is there to add to the story and the and, and the fear and the horror. I got I got I I got you. You you see it so but Yeah, because but, because something ahead. that that you maybe maybe you weren't impressed. Something that I was very impressed by with this movie is the choreography of the dances. Uh the the the, the first dance when the, the uh, Dakota Johnson uh, when mm -hmm. she auditions, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, that's powerful!" And then this 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 all culminates this big dance number that they do uh, at the climax. That I I thought I was like, "Man, that seemed pretentious at first, but this is really amazing." And and I appreciate that uh, he took this on to give it a, a more artsy spin to it to say, "Hey, this is my signature." And probably when he saw the original Suspiria, he saw it as an arts film, an, an art film, and he wanted to, to do the same thing. Um, now, as far as the length, yeah, I mean, they tell you right off the bat that there's six acts. Mm -hmm. The movie's supposed to be three acts. This is six acts and an epilogue. And they tell you that <laughs> from the very beginning. Yeah. So you kind of have to know what you're strapping in for. They say you, 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 you watching a novel. It's yes. going to be about as long as one. Yes, yes, yeah. And um, and so it's something about hearing that that made me kind of tired before it started, but also made me go, all right, I see what's happening here. And while I was I like, I don't see a lot of, you know, artsy horror movies. So this is this is this is new for me. And I'm, I'm rolling with it. And I see what they got going on is there's, there's all the political stuff. It's filled in. It's it's off putting. It's disturbing, super disturbing at times, especially some of the, the, the body horror stuff. Um, and for the most part, I'm like, you know, it's not really my thing, but I'm still kind of digging it. It's not till it gets to the sixth act where I go, man, you've created this this very cool artsy movie. That really does culminate into something really silly. Yeah, you know, I like. Okay, look. Thing is, with what with my Mar, what Martin is saying, this this is an art film so much to the point that it centers on the arts. Yeah, you go and don't and don't think I didn't appreciate that because I did. I mean, the, you gonna watch these girls dance for a while. You might as well be going to a ballet because it, I mean, you know, the director is saying. Now, you're going to get some horror, but God damn it, you can get some culture, too, before we get to that. Yeah. And that's fine. I actually like, not a lot of people going to like that, but I tell you, the, 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 some of the dancing that Dakota Johnson does in this, like, for people who don't like dance, that's actually kind of cool what she's yeah. doing. 
And, and they do it with no sound. That's part of the art direction right here. Um, and I'm fine with that. Another reason I'm fine with that is because if you just wait for a little bit, just wait, damn it. If you just wait, you're going to notice that it's mixed in with the heart. Now, some of y'all, I don't blame you. You're going to be like, damn, this dancing is going on for a long. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like they got Dakota dancing to just get your ass in a trance. So when that creature jump out, it's going to fuck your mind up. And I love that with this. Mixed in with the art, there's always this sense of some dread going on because they show you that, that nightmarish Im imagery that we're, that we're talking about, they pull it out when you least expect it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I remember I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> for those who are listening, they showed Dakota uh, Johnson dancing. And she's doing her thing. You really, and that dance number goes on for a while. And it's just enough to like get you into it, thinking none's going to happen. And they cut to the bottom of the floor. And this creepy-ass hand with these long-ass fingernails come, mm -hmm. come up. And it works. It works great because you don't expect it. To, you don't expect to see that. And there's other parts in the movie where not only do they mix in, not only do they mix in the dancing with scary images like that, but they actually kill people with dancing. There's 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 a moment I ain't never Michael Jackson. I, 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 ain't, <laughs> I ain't never seen a movie where they kill somebody with ballet. Uh huh. <laughs> Jason Voorhees he's got a machete. <laughs> Michael Myers got a butcher knife. This movie got prancing. <laughs> There's a horrifying scene where this, they, this woman is dancing and the, and the dancing is used to, and you see it. You see every crunch and bone is used to kill somebody else. It goes on a long time, too. Yeah. Like they never, you, and you think, okay, I'll get used to it at some point, but you kind of don't. Yeah, no, you, <laughs> you really don't. You just kind of like, just stop dancing. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing it. Stop dancing. But man, I, you know, uh, you see all this. All this could have been lent to uh, 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 all these images, all these, these creepy things that you see in here. All that could have lent itself to a very haunting film, like a completely haunting film that just stayed with you. At if it night. didn't hold you hostage for so long. If it wasn't, if it wasn't that long, you know, m maybe it's a personal thing with me. You know, I, I don't, you know, look, I don't think I'm being impatient right here. I don't think I'm, I'm that person who's, hey, who has, um, you know, I'm, the, I'm part of the, these, these people today who have a short attention span. I can't sit back and just let the, let the story unfold gradually. I can't appreciate the artistry for what it is. I can't take my time. You know, I, I'm a, let me just say this. I'm a fan of lean storytelling when it needs to be there. And that was not this. And I'm not, I think I'm justified in saying that by also noting that the original was only an hour and 40 minutes. Are you serious? The Rip Martin, I'm so serious that the original is, it, is, it prided itself so much on being short that it, they put it in the marketing. Yeah, they, they pretty much say, you know why we're scary? Because we don't fuck around, that's why. Oh. You, you can hear it in the trailer. <sighs> We're only seeing more terrifying yeah. than the last 12 minutes of Suspiria for the first 92. <laughs> <laughs> and that chick screamed, you hear? Know, that was 40 minutes! Old! Just wait until you hear about this movie being two hours and 30. They attached, and imagine this the original is an hour and 40 minutes. That means with this new movie right here, you got almost another hour tacked onto a film that only took an hour and 40 minutes to tell its story. Yeah. And, I, and, and the, you know, that's, and see, that's what, that's what got me with the, 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 the thing with, that's what I was prepared for with that crowd over in Venice. Because a lot of, the, a lot of these festivals, they think when something's long, it's that, good. That means it's good. Yeah. No, sometimes long is just long. Sometimes long means that you just love yourself too much. And masturbation should not be that long. This is, this, this is, this, 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 I, there are things that I understand and respect his vision for what he wants to do, the director right here. And I respect also a director who wants to make a remake that clearly stands on its own. 
it, it, he wants to make it his own thing. But there are things that are added here that have nothing to do to the story to enhance it. It just adds time. And for me, I can't speak for other people out there, but for me, I felt it. And maybe I need to go back and just reflect on the film. Maybe I, these things have deeper meanings. It's a meditation. And you goddamn right, it's a meditation. <laughs> Shit, it was, you, it was so meditating. You actually, you were actually meditating in there. Your eyes were closed. I saw you. And Martin, this is what Martin tells me. Man, quit watching me. Watch the movie. Man, I couldn't help. At the corner of my no, eye, I, I saw that head going down. No, I know. I said, I said, I do not blame this brother. Brother, get your sleep. I told Martin, I said, God bless him. Take your nap. You, you're tired. You ain't missing shit. I said, I will be here for this man. I said, if, I, I was ready to. I said, if something happened, I'm here to get him. Martin, wake up. The monster's here. But ain't it wasn't shit. I looked at him. I was like, I wish I was you right now. Uh, I had to stand guard. I had to stand watch. No, no. Because I, I, I could never really nod out for long. Because I was like, all right, there, this stuff happening. And, and I am interested. It's just the way it's being told. It's... and. Uh, I'm like you, uh, where I do prefer lean storytelling where it needs to be. And I always feel like, hey, I'm not one of these people with a short attention span. So I'm trying to expand <laughs> the attention span I have to say, hey, maybe I am one of those people and I just don't know it. I, I, I don't want to admit it. So I need to, I need to hang with these things and yeah. allow them to, to be what they can be. And yes, this is... It is, it's a bit hard staying awake, but I see some stuff going on here, and a lot of it's interesting, and, and the acting's not bad, and D Dakota Fanning, I mean, Dakota Fanning, Dakota Johnson, she's actually better than I've given her credit for, and, um, and there, there's some, I you know, that's not only the political, actual political stuff in the background, but there's something about female politics going on with mm -hmm. this, and... Yeah, it's it's six acts, which is twice as long as any story is supposed to be. But mm -hmm. but that's okay because we get to that six act, and this is where it's going to really culminate and make all of this worth it up to this point. And what it does is it starts with that that awesome dance number, and it finishes with a big bonanza of rubber costumes and CGI. And I was just like, wait, all this, all that up to this point. Was for this? Well, also in the movie, there's Tilda Swinton. I mean, they, they show you some elements here that don't work. One, you got this. The, you got this epilogue, which is not in the in in the uh, 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 original. Now it's been a while since I've seen it, but I don't remember this. But it's a uh, you got a uh, you got this old man, an old therapist, who's getting brought into this by his journal, some information he founds, and I got to investigate what's going on with these crazy ass dancers at this dance this dance troupe, and. That and Tilda Swinton is the one that plays the 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 old man. She plays two parts in. I was going to say that kind of as a non spoilery thing, but everybody's talking about. She's it. the old man. She's yes, Martin. She's the old man. And here's the thing. Okay, so this don't work for two reasons. One, that story right there, you don't know what's happening at the beginning because it's a mystery. Cool, but when you get to the end, still don't know what's happening. That's fucked up. And the other thing that doesn't work with her is that it's an old man with a woman's voice. It's an old man that talks like this. Yeah. And also on top of that, Tilda Swinton got some parts of it down. She got the mannerism down. You know, she got the old man hunch. She got, she, you can feel it hurting them bones cracking when she's reaching for certain things. But it's sometimes, it's tr she's trying too hard. There's one point where she's walking. And I'm going to show you how she's walking. Don't nobody walk like this. There's a part she's trying to, <laughs> she, she got this weird walk trying to walk like an old man. And it doesn't look right. She actually, she's actually walk, walking like this. If you, if you're watching the movie, you can see it. She walking. <laughs> and, it's like, and it's like people don't walk like that. You know who walks like that? Fucking puppets, marionettes. Let somebody controlling her legs with a string. And I'm like, and on top of that, the moment you first see her, it's fucking rubber. On her face. That's the, that's that's what bothered me when when this character first comes on, and I was like, okay, this is somebody wearing a rubber mask, right? And they just yeah. kept going with it, and I was like, all right, well maybe not. And it it does sound like a woman, but all right, I guess he that's just the dude sounds that way. It's, it's funny, all those things occurred to me, but I never pieced together that they would actually put a woman in a rubber mask to play an old man where you could just easily get an old man to play an old man. Shit, where's Chris, Christopher Plummer could have done this shit? They replaced everybody else with him. You, 
Y'all should have replaced Tilda Swinton with that shit. The moment it comes on, you can tell that shit is rubber. Yeah. The, one, the first frame when I saw that dude's face, I said, that ain't no real man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I said, oh, <laughs> I, said, okay. I said, no. And I'd already known that it was Tilda Swinton before I got in there. So, you know, I, I thought I was being a little bit too hard because I know. But tell me that shit looked fake when the first no, came no, on. It, no, it, it did. It was it was bugging, bugging the hell out of me. But I was like, all right, well, there's no acknowledgement. I, I mean, there's no reason for it to be. There's no reason for the character to be in there. There's no reason for her to play that character when you don't even need me in there in the first place. And it really does not lead anywhere. Now, like I said, it might have, and I know people email me, well, you see the meaning of history learn. Well, you know, it wasn't in the fucking first movie. And the first movie is very lean and straightforward and works effectively. This takes away from that. Other thing you're talking about, Martin, is that hostage crisis that's going on. Another thing that made the movie long. I'm glad that is a nice piece of history we, we can set right there to like right, establish, but, but it, it don't need, it it, don't need yeah, to be there. It leads to nothing. Lead, let's talk about it once, maybe twice. You can see it on TV or something, but they run that shit through the whole movie like we really gonna have a, like a, an action film where these hostages are getting rescued. It leads to nothing. Yeah. And you know the uh, <laughs> it's uh, I, I get it, man. You know, again, this guy wanted to tell his story. What story he was telling, I don't know. But you know, that's fine. You can let him do what he needs to do. I, maybe I didn't get it. Apparently, apparently, people at Venice they got it. I didn't. So I, I'm not gonna be the guy that just expects everybody to think like me. But I do believe that that last 15 minutes that you're talking about, Martin, the, the last 15 minutes, the movie is so lost. All these plot lines just wandered everywhere. It drove the movie crazy. Yeah. The movie just the movie just pretty much said, shit, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you know, the shit just went nuts. It really did. The shit went crazy. And, 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 and at, the, at the base of that story, it was something so simple that a child would have come up with. And that, and you know what? Because hey, you said I don't know if this can be as crazy as the first one. Well, hey, that that the director showed me. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah, sir. Hey, I give it to you. You got crazy. You thought the first one was crazy. He said, "I'm gonna show your ass crazy," and it went nuts. The best way to describe probably how, where this movie goes, it's like if you give, if you gave blood and gore, cocaine and Molly, and just let it go. That's what you got at the end of this, man. This thing is like a uh, it, it's it's like a strip club that takes place in a slaughterhouse. It's insane. Oh, that's a good way to put that. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Yeah. And that will work for some people, and it won't. Now, Mark, you didn't like it. For me, I was sitting there, I was like, "Hey, cool party." I, you know, I went with it. I was like, "All right, you know what? I like when shit like this goes wild." You know me, I like when things go crazy like this. It, it wasn't the the it going wild that bothered me. Well, what bothered me with it is that man, this party's awesome. I just wish it had started maybe forty five minutes ago. You know, everything that we're leading up to with the movie strand so far from or, or just going astray with all these subplots that to me don't mean too much. It took away to what could have been a very impactful climax with this insanity. You know, I, 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 and I, let me just say, I do like this movie. I do. I, 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 I enjoy parts of this very much. But the first hour in the ending is what I like so much. You know, after an hour for me, that's when it became obvious to me, like, you should have trimmed this. This could have been trimmed. And like I said, I'm not saying this out of, I'm not saying this out of, uh, I'm somebody who can't appreciate a long movie. I, if a movie's greatness, can be, it can be two and a half hours long of stuff that really matters and connects, that's fine. But it can, it, for me, they just could have shaved a lot off and had a very good, effective film. Uh, other than that, this tells a story without the self-control and more self-indulgence. To me, it seemed very self-indulgent. I'm giving this a good rental. I'm giving this a very good rental because I think there's a lot of interesting things there. I just don't think you need to, as Martin says, be held hostage in your seat to get to where this movie <laughs> needs to go. Especially when you get there and it might be like, I'm, I'm more confused now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm with you on the, on the rating. And, in, and like I said, all that sitting there, I, was, I still was being patient, feeling like it could really pay off. It could really make a statement. Or not, it's, it's been saying so much so far. But at the very end, in the big climax, is where it actually says what it has to say. And it's pretty sophomoric what it has to say. All these other things it could have it touched on, it's like, no, it's just all about the, the debate between the witches. Um, up to this point, so much of it, it's, 
it's very vague about what it's about on purpose to leave you wondering mm -hmm. so what really is going on and how deep does it go and then in the end they, they play it out as if well you've been get you've been seeing this set up right you so this makes sense i'm like not really i mean i i guess i get it but i don't have an investment in hardly anybody okay show me the, the gore effects i guess i mean for people who get off on that who love seeing gore and a big bloodbath hey man it, that's your party right there i couldn't enjoy it if i'd had something to back me up and let me really ha have a connection to it i just didn't but i'm, I'm with you where it's a it's a good rental because there's so many good things about it. Those 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 dance numbers are amazing, and the setup and the art direction. Yeah, that's too big. I was sitting next to Martin, I felt like man, we finally got him. I could see him looking at this movie and being like, oh, I finally get it, art. And I was like, please don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw that head. <laughs> Martin has a certain nod where it's not like I'm only going to sleep, but it's a silent fuck you. <laughs> It was completely involuntary. <laughs> I, was, I was like, God damn it, we almost had it. <laughs>